Granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and a baby. <laughs> North Andover mom <laughs> delivered her baby right in the family kitchen, and they tell Ken McLeod that may have been the best case scenario. I've been joking with some of her friends that are pregnant that uh, if they want to save some money, I'm available. <laughs> Keith Barnard is no doc, but he sure nailed the role last Tuesday morning right here in his North Andover home. Yeah, so the kitchen became the delivery room <laughs> right there by the oven. His wife Eliza didn't think much when she went to bed with stomach pain, but she woke her hubby just before 3 a.m. shortly after her contractions began. But our plan, as we had, was that I was going to labor at home for as long as I could. Here's the thing. Eliza was in labor for a whopping 18 hours when her son was born almost two years ago. So she and her husband figured they had plenty of time to make it to the hospital this go-round. With that in mind, Keith knocked out some work on his laptop while Eliza hopped into the shower. So I was in our bedroom doing makeup, and that's when my water broke. They both knew that would accelerate the timetable, just not how much. And I'm like rummaging through the laundry, trying to find my perfect nightgown that I wanted to wear. Keith was running low on patience as his wife reached the kitchen, and so was the baby. He called 911. So then he's on with 911, and I'm like, and come back to me now because I'm going to need you to catch this baby. I immediately came over and felt her head. Dad delivered Nyla Lou right there on the kitchen floor with some good advice from the 911 dispatcher and the paramedics who arrived several minutes later. And then that's when I cut the cord, and that was when everything looked like it was on the up and up. In fact, mom's last minute wardrobe delay might have prevented all of this from unfolding on the roadside. She and the baby are both fine. I just think it's so unique and special and it was clearly meant to happen that way. Big brother Cole slept through it. In North Andover, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.